Guess who's back? Back again. Graphic Kirk with another video. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, uh, today I will quickly show you the updated way of how I overclock now my Intel Arc uh, graphic cards, uh, limited edition ones. Uh, we will be using uh, ACR Bifrost Predator software. I already have it here installed. I leave down the description below the download link so you can install it as well. And uh, this tool will help us actually overclock uh, voltage to, I mean, watts to way more and uh, custom fan speed is also able to be set here so uh, yeah okay as you can see uh, if you have limited edition Intel R graphic card uh, you can stumble upon this problem when you launch uh, the Bifrost Predator it just wouldn't start it actually just shows up and then uh, closes down so uh, what you gotta do is uh, go to the app data uh, folder and find the setting folder of uh, Bifrost and uh, make sure to write these two force check what startup and uh, what this does actually is uh, forces not to check uh, i guess gpu if we have the right a770 inside so uh, then it actually let us uh, run this software as you can see over here no more crashing we can set everything move the window we don't crash let's quickly check if everything works uh, put uh, watts to max uh, well this is not actually max because we can modify it more but uh, the important uh, thing is fan speed this works just fine. Let me quickly open here uh, Intel Arc Control Center and go to the monitoring section. I will first apply actually here. And uh, let's check here. Our current RPM is uh, 1800 or so soap. So if we actually put this to 100% now, let's see if it changes and uh, it works just fine. And uh, yes, guys, it works just fine now. The Bifrost F lets you change fan speed. So uh, this might be a better way now actually because you don't have to actually modify the setting file every driver update which we did in the previous video so uh, this is good to know but uh, what is even better now we don't need uh, Intel OC Arc tool to bug the watts to have more watts available because we have uh, two cables here in Intel Arc A770 and can give way more power than only 230 watts so uh, I will quickly show you here how we can actually change this to more. Uh, it will show the limit. Right now it's 228, but if we go to this uh, section when we have the setting, usually how you get here is just write this into the search app data and uh, you will find the Predator Bryfast uh, folder. And what you got to do is go here inside this folder, presets, and uh, open up this uh, folder, I mean file. It's uh, actually the configuration file for overclock settings, and you can see you can actually modify everything here. Um, what I figured out actually is uh, don't change anything else except the watts, because uh, watts is the only meaningful option to set in this uh, custom configuration. Uh, my graphic card actually only works at about... Uh, 270 watts max so uh, i just recommend you to set to 320 and see where your card can actually go and uh, yeah if you open up bifrost predator software again we shall see that we now have a 320 watts overclocked uh, graphic card and we can still change the fan speed without any issues when you overclock and want the best results i recommend you to use the 100 percent so uh, yeah Let's go into the Returnal and uh, see what kind of performance we get. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, we still need uh, Intel Arc overclocking tool to actually force constant megahertz core clock uh, speeds. So, uh, yeah, we will be using here in this tutorial as well Intel Arc OSIS tool. I will be uh, using my uh, previous settings, which I already tested way before and uh, see if it's now more stable because the previous bug when you over i mean you unlock the watts bug uh, it wasn't so reliable but now with intel arc uh, this acer bra acer bifrost predator software uh, the watts bug i mean watts uh, force uh, is so how should I say, uh, more constant and more reliable. It won't crash quickly like it did before. And uh, you can also now open Intel Arc Control Center and uh, apply other settings there. And it won't write you an error in the top, uh, I mean, bottom right corner, which usually is what it did. So uh, yeah, let's see now in the Returnal, uh, 
if uh, watts are actually improved or not but uh, if you can see right now we are getting about 210 watts usage which uh, showcases that we maybe we don't have activated uh, the w limit to bigger watts to 320 so uh, usually improving clock speed might uh, boost some watts so let's see if uh, boosting the memory clock speed to I mean CPU core clock speed to almost 2.8 gigahertz fixes this but uh, no we are still uh, just using around 220 watts uh, which uh, I guess this is what the game needs uh, nothing less and nothing more so uh, I will later uh, show you in a bit uh, the superposition benchmark where we can clearly see that uh, the watts work so uh, yeah let me quickly uh, try to overclock Returnal a bit more and uh, see if we can crash. Oh, look at this, guys! Uh, first time I'm actually seeing uh, 2.8 GHz uh, stable uh, gameplay in Returnal and on Interarch. So, yeah, what? Actually, I crashed later on, so... <laughs> Let's go to Superposition because that's the main thing I wanted to show you here. Uh, you will see now that we actually will be using in this benchmark way more than only 220 watts so uh, the Bifrost app actually works as you can see now we have uh, 2.8 GHz uh, 265 watts it's working pretty smooth oh no <laughs> it crashed <laughs> uh, let's quickly uh, try to lower a bit uh, core clock no 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 I mean yeah still it crashed guys I actually increased here as I can see I'm doing voiceover uh, later on I recorded at my test bench like always so uh, yeah I think my graphic card is most stable at about uh, 2.78 gigahertz I think uh, so uh, yeah you have to find out your limit it really depends on your graphic card but uh, yeah I crashed here guys and let me just quickly see if uh, actually lowering a bit uh, core clock speed will make this benchmark more stable. Uh, we are getting about 2.8 gigahertz. I think this is stable. Yeah, it's stable for sure. So uh, yeah, I will just move on here quickly and finish the video by testing my overclock in uh, Dead Island 2, uh, so you can see that actually uh, if it works or not, but uh, poof, here we go, we started the game and we, as you can see, flat line, we crashed immediately, so uh, 2.8 GHz might work in the Returnal Superposition or uh, some other game, but uh, some games will crash instantly, so uh, yeah, let me quickly change here uh, a bit more volts and what it, I mean core clock speed, I mean less clock speed, not more because we crashed and uh, see if we can get a stable experience in Dead Island 2 we are now, we are almost at 2.8 gigahertz, I really dropped only a bit uh, I don't think this will be stable, but let's check it out and uh, press F to enter the game and uh, see if we are getting a stable experience before we crashed here, but right now, look at these guys. We are using about 240 watts. Again, we are not at 270, 280, 300, which we said, but I guess this is the max that the game can use. So, uh, yeah, mm, nice guys. Look at this. We are getting stable, low crashes so far. Let me quickly um, run around here for a bit and uh, see if we are going to crash but uh, oh uh, my god 1440p dead island 2 ultra without fsr overclocked look at these guys 80 fps should be good make sure to test out your overclock in more than one game and uh, yeah report back ah, i see it crashed here so yeah <laughs> make sure to like subscribe test the heart and see ya